learn how to do an isolation. And this is the cool trick. This is the one that everybody wants to learn. So the isolation is an optical illusion. <laughs> it's supposed to look like magic, like the hoop is floating. It's not actually magic, guys. I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. When we're spinning the hula hoop on our hand, see how my hand is staying still and the hoop is bouncing around the outside? With the isolation, the hoop kind of stays still and my hand is going around the outside. So here, holding the hoop in front, take whichever hand you like. I'm going to be using my right hand. So holding the hoop in front, I'm using my right hand, palm facing down to the ground. Here my arm is straight and it's touching my body. So from the side, if your arm is really far away, bring it in nice and close so everything is rested here. Here the hoop is two things. It's a clock and we're holding it at six o'clock. And it's also a picture frame, so you're in the center of your frame. To maintain the optical illusion of the hoop floating, we want to try and keep ourselves in the center of a frame the whole time. So it might help to practice this trick in front of a mirror. So starting at six, we're going to be squeezing the hoop. We don't let go. Bending your elbow. If you're in your right hand, you're going to be lifting to the right. If you're in your left hand, you're going to go to the left. We bend our elbow and lift the hoop up above our head without letting our frame drop. So if it's like this, we need to lift our hoop up so it's still in frame above our head. Now here our wrist is really twisted and it doesn't go any further. So we're going to do a technique called magic fingers. It looks like you're casting a spell. You open your hand, flex your fingers, cast a spell, and continue to reach across to the other side to grab. Arm here nice and straight. From here, we take the hoop all the way back to six and we reset. If the hoop's gone a bit weird, it's somewhere it shouldn't be, here, shake it out and start again. From six o'clock, our arm is nice and straight, touching our body, bend your elbow and lift it above your head. Cast a spell, magic fingers, reach across, straight arm here, all the way back down to six, reset. Elbow up, magic fingers across, straight arm, back down to six. One more time, elbow goes up, magic fingers reach across, back down to six. Now there's a couple of things that usually go wrong here. The first one is we lift our hand up and we go to cast our spell, the hoop is over here and we're still over here. So to counteract this, as we do our magic fingers and our fingers are really splayed and strong to create a good shelf for the hoop, we're going to rotate our torso at the same time. So reaching across with my torso. Here, straight arm, back down to six. Again, lifting up, I reach across as I roll. Another thing that goes wrong with the isolation is that sometimes people try to cheat with their magic fingers. Rather than rolling across the top, you'll do a jump and catch. It's a strong, splayed magic fingers. It's the strong fingers at the top of the isolation that really create that optical illusion of holding it up, floating in the air. And the last thing that we need to do is take our time with this move. If you look closely, you'll notice that I'm holding a triangle inside of a circle. So these, these points that we're holding the hoop make a triangle. So six o'clock, up here, across, and back down. The triangle is creating this frame for the hoop. If you rush through any of these points, the hoop's probably going to spiral back into hand hooping. And hand hooping is an awesome trick, it's just not the isolation. So we need to take our time with training our body to develop the muscle memory to maintain this triangle inside the, inside the circle. So here, six, elbow up, magic fingers across, and back down to six. To train people not to go too fast with this at the beginning, I make you count. So. We start at six o'clock. One, two, three. Elbow up, hold it. One, two, three. Magic fingers reach across. One, two, three. Back down to six. One, two, three. And then as you've practiced that, you can start to minimize the gap. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, 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 one. If you find that it starts to go a bit weird at one point, take it back up and take your time a little bit longer with each of the points. Eventually, it'll be a nice, smooth whip across and smoothing out at the bottom. And my last tip for the isolation, and this one's my pro tip, pro secret. Once you've got the general gist of the isolation, if you're standing completely still on the spot, you can see every minor movement of how the isolation is moving, which kind of, kind of ruins the optical illusion a little bit. You can practice this and make it perfect. I like to be a little bit more relaxed about it, so what I like to do is move my body around, 
kick my legs, use my distraction hand and smile, and you can't tell how <laughs> much my isolation is moving around the place. <laughs> I'm gonna make you